Welcome to Bad News, I'm Chuck Ludwig. Thank you for tuning into our ongoing coverage of the 2014 Sochi Winter Olympics. A lot of people have been talking about Sochi's official mascot, the creatively titled Polar Bear. If you haven't seen him yet, you will tonight when he's haunting your dreams. I just wanna play with your inside bits. So gooey, he yuck. Mm. While Russian President Vladimir Putin might be doing his best to suppress the gays, he certainly isn't taking a tough stance on drugs. <laughs> if a giant animatronic mascot isn't scary enough, how about a live action version? This is what happens when you let polar bears fuck Teletubbies. It's just it's <laughs> sick, it's sick. Oh wait, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, we're being interrupted right now for a, a breaking press conference coming from Olympic Village. Before I take any questions about my routine this morning, there's something I need to say first. I've been keeping a secret from all of you, and I can't do that any longer. I'm Lance Hyman, and I'm a straight man. I refuse to be intimidated by any high-ranking heterophobes in our sport, because this is who I am. I like beer, not Zima. I like Michael Bay, not Michael Buble, and I eat Tacos, not hot dogs. I'd like to thank the host here in Russia, particularly President Putin for being so supportive and for providing a safe place where people like me don't have to be afraid. Lance, how long have you been straight? How long have you been gay? But what about your endorsement? Well, that's up to Bravo. Do you expect your life to be different now that you've come out as straight? I hope so. I really want to start having sex with women. What does your boyfriend, Mike Linoche, think? Leave Linoche out of this! You know what? This interview's over! I can't take this! So brave, so brave. Um, we now go live to our correspondent, Austin Embry, uh, in Sochi. Uh, Austin, uh, can you tell me a little bit about the conditions there in Sochi right now? This place sucks. I say it nicer FEMA camps. This is what happens when you design a city without the help of the gays. Plumbing here is worse than Coachella. For the last three days, I've been shitting in a Russian nesting doll. I'm down to the smallest one. It's grim. Ooh, it sounds like everyone's having a really rough time there. Almost everyone. I interviewed one athlete this morning that loves this hellscape. I love it here in Sochi. There is a roof and no line for the bathroom hole. The water here, you can almost see through. There are stray dogs everywhere and you can just take them. Yum. Always a silver lining. Um, so I heard there were some hiccups during the opening ceremonies. The fifth ring failed to light. Uh, how did the Russians let this happen? Funny you should ask. I met a Russian entrepreneur who might have the answer. I have for sale Olympics memorabilia. You want ring? I have ring. It's good ring. Red. Best color. Uh, Austin, did he steal a ring? It fell off truck. I swear. I trust him. He's taking me to a bathhouse later. Well, thanks for the update and uh, good luck with your hotel room. Yeah, I tried calling Travelocity. <laughs> Still no answer. That's outsourcing for you. And that's our show. Be sure to join us next week when we talk to Sean White about hair care. We catch up with the U.S. Luge team and talk about what they do in the off season. Yeah. And we purchase some black market gold medals. We'll see you then. Adios. Woo. Woo. Sizzle.